Hi guys, welcome to the unboxing and full review of this Ribos and Professional Condenser Microphone. The yeah, description says here, unidirectional condenser microphone, excellent reproduction of voice and music, professional. The crazy thing is this is listed usually on Amazon for around $49, currently it's only $39 and you get even a coupon and they claim that they have a sensitivity of minus 32 decibel I mean minus 32 usually at least when it has good quality that's almost in a professional level and usually you would have to pay around maybe $150 $200 or so I have never seen such a cheap microphone and we do not get only get the microphone i mean we get the whole set with the arm with everything with the shock mount with the pop uh, blocker with everything for such a cheap price this is absolutely crazy so if that really worked it would be the best deal in the whole world regarding microphone but i doubt that this really works but I thought, yeah, I'll give it a try and so let's see what we get. Maybe we get some kind of description or something here. And yeah, not much on this side. Maybe there's something underneath. Yeah, not more. Actually, it's very few description. The thing is actually... I mean, they write ribosen from the brand, but actually the main thing here is the main identification here is the BM800. And when you go and search on Amazon, search for microphone in this price range, you find a lot of BM800. And everybody uh, states a different brand name. I mean, sometimes they have a little bit a uh, different color, but they look pretty much the same. So I think technically inside they are all the same all these bm 800 microphones they are all the same even though they are on a different price and different brands and uh, so this is what we get here yeah we get the pop blocker and we have some kind of instruction or specification hope you can see that here yeah, you can see here sensitivity here even inside here they state minus 32 that's insane i mean yeah we have to check on that if that's really possible maybe it's uh, minus 32 and the quality is then just really bad but i would definitely notice if it would be uh, 32. i have also heard f uh, about complaints that they listed actually with the USB adapter, but I think they also have the 3.5 millimeter thing, and that's just a converter. And some people are saying that uh, it loses some quality here inside, or there is some noise, some strange uh, noise added here. So we also have to check. Unfortunately, I cannot check the 3.5 millimeter because this. 3.5 millimeter on my pc is uh, not good it has some problems uh, itself so that's the mount for the desk the good thing is that it is metal it looks more or less sturdy what i also uh, prefer is that there is no rubber or something like this on top of this because usually this is too weak too small to uh, support the rubber and we have the cushion here on top which is good i really prefer this so for me at the moment that's looking good yeah, and here we have the shock mount for me i mean i'm not a pro but i think a shock mount is not needed at this price range so either microphone is good or it's not good but a shock mount maybe yeah, if you have a $1,000 microphone but I haven't really found a difference uh, when using a shock mount and especially when it's so dirt cheap they better invest into a better uh, diaphragm instead of such a shock mount so I have uh, always been using one without shock mount and I haven't seen any disadvantage I have tested a couple of microphones with and without shock mount and i have never really felt a, a big difference 
I mean, of course, yeah, when you, when you really hit hard hit the desk, but then uh, also it depends on the quality of the microphone. So we have some kind of uh, wind sock here, and then that's the cable. You can see that here. I think that's really normal 3.5 millimeter uh, plug which you could use, and this is. Uh, some of this normal yeah microphone uh, cable I think that could even be standard I'm, I'm not a pro regarding that so in general of course it's an uh, advantage when we have something like this in case the cable breaks or you need a different cable uh, you can replace that that's rather rare in this price range yeah, here the microphone it's actually looking pretty good solid uh, what we can see, we can look through it easily, so there's probably very few uh, built-in pop protection here. So probably it's a good idea to add the pop filter here. So what we see, of course, there's also no volume adjustment. Sometimes we have this echo adjustment or volume adjustment, there's nothing here. But we have definitely the model name BM800, uh, which we see really a lot. And here's the arm. So I'm going to mount that and try to find out how stable this is. Yeah, it is definitely very lightweight, but I don't have the impression that there is something special. So I think you could definitely use that. It's not a professional arm but uh, i think you can use that it looks for me pretty much standard like a standard for a price range below 100 dollars or so so here's what we get uh, for 39 dollars currently in one picture so that's definitely a lot in general for the hardware we cannot complain i mean uh, at least for the hardware outside the question is not only how is the hardware or the electronics inside is it really worth the money and i highly doubt that but spe and especially regarding the sensitivity but uh, i'm going to mount that and i'll definitely give you then a microphone sample this is one of the most important things which you have been waiting for i mean you want to know how the voice quality is and of course the volume means sensitivity so I think the rest of the video I will do from this microphone itself and uh, I'm closing this here from this camera so you will have the chance to listen uh, for quite some time to this microphone here. Okay so here I am with the microphone and I'm super close because I have already realized that the sensitivity is not minus 32 but maybe 42 52 or whatever so it's super super low you have to be uh, almost eating the microphone so you can hear something and i will probably have to boost up the sound level so i can tell you it's super super low sensitivity and i already know that the quality is super bad i mean again i'm on the adapter here the 3.5 millimeter to the usb adapter there is some really strange noise coming from this adapter. I have seen that in the reviews already. Some people have been complaining about that. And I couldn't believe that they are adding to such a set so, such a cheap adapter which will produce like a bad sound or strange noise. But it is really the case. But uh, if you have a 3.5 millimeter adapter you can use that the quality is better I'm not saying much better at least you don't have this strange sound here so I'm going to test that now as well because I've realized that it's probably not so bad uh, as I thought so uh, I think currently there's no strange sound coming really from my computer so I think uh, this is everything what uh, you will then hear will coming from the microphone so okay I'm here again as well same thing and same distance and I'm really very close to the microphone but now I'm using the 3.5 millimeter plug of my PC 
There's not the 3.5 millimeter to USB uh, adapter in between, and I think it's a little bit better. But there's also some really strange noise here. Uh, yeah, I've tested it before, and I uh, have the impression that it's also some really weird noise. It's a little bit different. It's a little bit less. It's it, it's a different noise, but it's also some strange noise. I first thought that I hear voices from like family in, in the back but there's nobody talking so there's just some interference maybe that's from the 3.5 millimeter i don't know but uh yeah i mean sensitivity is very low anyway quality yeah definitely also not the best i mean if you buy a microphone for five dollars maybe then it's even worse but it's very hard to uh, buy something which is worse than that it's it's almost impossible so it's uh, absolutely crazy and uh, yeah this uh, microphone should be taken off market and uh, I mean it's a BM 800 everybody's buying that and um, yeah it's it's a shame it shouldn't be on the market it shouldn't be sold definitely and uh, yeah I'm stopping here it's useless and especially if you uh, intend to use that with the USB yeah, it's uh, definitely not worth it uh, don't buy it buy something else I mean there are cheap other microphones on the market for 35 40 dollars you can buy something like which you can put on your desk and have really a good quality and but stay away from this thing definitely no matter what, what you're planning to do stay away from this thing and and I hope I've been able to help you a little bit with this video. If you have any questions or comments, just write to the comment section below. And I'm always happy to talk about these things. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.